Rogers said this on MSNBC. I think Judge Daugherty's decision goes too far. I clearly feel that in the end, the decision will be refined somewhat because government has to have the right to have its own free speech to push back when they see things on social media that they think are dangerous. The government has to have its own free speech to push back on things that are dangerous on social media? Now, Isaacson, he surely has enough honorary degrees to know that the government is not a private citizen and that their suggestions, their speech, can carry the force of coercive law. But what is he talking about when he talks about something being dangerous? What is dangerous that must be censored? Well, that was also answered today on MSNBC. As the judge makes exceptions for, for national security and criminal activity, but isn't there a fine line when it comes to national security specifically? I don't even watch that. And then, and then, here and the, the yeah, but whatever I say. Uh, you know, the, the full faith of the MSNBC elections could be undermined. Would, Screw could that, that channel. Could be a national security threat? Of course. Oh, oh, so, so like terrorism, specific violent threats, vaccine misinformation, COVID origins, mask compliance, RFK Jr., Donald Trump denying the results of or tweeting about and potentially influencing an election. Outside, of course, if you're in the approved thought. You know, dangerous. Benjamin Weingarten wrote today in the New York Post, Imagine an America where the feds search actual speech police wherever chatter on social media questions the integrity of the vote. Speech police who then take to the airwaves to attack those making the claims. If this sounds far-fetched, consider that last summer, a national security agency actually molded the idea of deploying a rapid response team to local jurisdictions to help election officials fend off mis, dis, and malinformation, MDM related threats, including through communications. An idea that one thing thank you for watching fascinating patriots. We got our free speech back. Please subscribe. Reality, we now know thanks to a new report from the House Weaponization Committee. The report reveals how an agency, CISA, who was originally tasked with combating foreign cyber attacks and defending the grid, came to target Americans' tweets questioning mail-in balloting. And get this, CISA's director, Jen Easterly, has said cognitive infrastructure, you know, what's infrastructure? Everything's infrastructure, apparently, including what you think. Patrolling cognitive infrastructure is critical, thus justifying CISA censoring dangerous speech. It truly is what was said by Judge Doty, Orwellian. And so he said, no more of this from the Minister of Truth. What's your message to platforms like Facebook? We're killing people. I mean, it really, You're the one that's really killing people, people idiot. The only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that's, and, they're, and they're killing people. We are asking technology companies uh, to help lift up the voices of credible uh, health authorities. It's also why they have to do more to reduce uh, the misinformation that's out there so that the true voices of experts can shine. Facebook should provide publicly and transparently Facebook should go, COVID go under and uh, COVID not be able to not just I hope they lose everything the reach of go out of business now it's understandable meaning you don't excuse it but you can conceive why the Democrat party Facebook YouTube Washington I hope so they all go under to free speech they want no challenge to their power but it's at least Twitter is the only one that has that the press is so suppress my tweets press after Elon Musk Musk took over. The Monday edition of the New York Times in an article entitled GOP Threatened Please Subscribe by Surveillance Tool. The article is about Republicans fighting Section 702 of the Foreign, Foreign Surveillance Intelligence Act. Section 702. Thanks for watching. Warrantless surveillance of foreign targets. Congratulations, Patriots. Go mega. But if those foreign targets in some way allegedly connect to an American, well, Trump 2024. And boy, have we run. 702 has been used against BLM rioters, January 6th protesters and rioters. And of course, through Carter Page, to target Donald Trump. Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio has said, there's no way we're going to reauthorize that in its current form. No possible way. It's interesting. At one time, Democrats, the left and the media, looked at federal government surveillance skeptically. But now, the New York Times wrote on Monday, 
an intensive drive by right-wing Republicans in Congress to vilify the FBI, with charges of political bias has imperiled a program allowing spy agencies to conduct warrantless surveillance on foreign targets, sapping support for a premier intelligence tool and, and giving stuff to Chinaism for stricter limits. The New York Times, champion of spying on Americans. You see, Republicans had a change of heart on 702 and became champions for free speech because they became the target for illegal surveillance and censorship. The press and Democrats who once championed them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Also had a change of heart on surveillance. Thank you, new subscribers. Because they liked that Republicans became the target of surveillance.